Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll see a type 3 types of numerical. So we are solving problem based on the concurrent force system. So the question is find the force P and Q such that the resultant of the system is 0. And this is the given question. It consists of force 1, force 2, force 3, force 4 and the force 5. So this question was asked in the Mumbai University question paper in the 2013 for 5 marks. Now we'll see step by step way to find out the resultant. So before that we should have a logic for this question. As the resultant is given 0. So in this case as per the equation R is equal to summation of fx square and summation of fy square. As this R becomes 0 if you square it on the both side you will get 0 is equal to summation of fx and summation of fy square. So in only one case we will get this condition that is when summation of fx is 0 and summation of fy is 0. It means that the horizontal component of resultant is equal to 0 and vertical component of the resultant is equal to 0. Then only we can get the value of r is equal to 0. So here we will first find out the summation of fx for all the forces and compare it with the 0. Then we will find out summation of fy for all the components and then we will equate the 0. You can do one thing, you can take a screenshot or the printout of this slide and paste it in your room. So you can easily remember how to solve type 3 types of numerical. Now we will start with the step 1. Find the angle of all the forces with positive x-axis. As you know, we'll first find out the angle of all the forces with x-axis. We'll resolve only line forces. We'll not resolve horizontal or vertical forces. So here, 40 Newton and Q force are only inclined forces. So we'll find out the angle of this inclined forces with the horizontal. As you can see, this is the x-axis. So the angle of 40 Newton is already given with the x-axis, 60 degree. And the angle of Q with the x-axis is 20 degree. This is very very important step if this angle is given 30 degree you should convert it with the x-axis when we convert with respect to x-axis we can easily write fx is equal to f cos theta and fy is equal to f sin theta so this is very important step don't skip step number one now we'll go to the step number two find the summation of horizontal component so this is the given figure. Summation of horizontal component is indicated by summation of fx and the sign of forces can be easily remembered by using chart 1 and chart 2. Chart 1 is for the outward forces just like this and chart 2 is for the inward forces. So no force is inward here so we can use chart number 1. Also you can take the screenshot of this one and chart 2 and paste it in your room to remember the sign conventions for the given forces. So we'll start with the writing the equation. So summation of fx is equal to start with the first force 40 angle with the horizontal. So we can write 40 cos 60. The next force is 50 Newton. Now this is a vertical force. So its horizontal component should be equal to 0. So we'll skip this force. Next one is 30 Newton. Now 30 Newton is a horizontal force. So no need of resolution. So we'll write 30 Newton and it points towards the left direction. So it is minus 30. The next force is P. It is a vertical force. So its horizontal component should be equal to 0. Next force is Q. Its horizontal component will be Q cos 20 and it is in the fourth quadrant. So you can see why x is positive. So horizontal component of Q is Q cos 20. As per the logic we will put summation of fx is equal to 0. So on the left side we will get 0. 40 cos 60 minus 30 plus Q cos 20. 40 cos 60 is 20 minus 30. The value of cos 20 is 0.393 Q. Now this subtraction will be minus 10 plus 0.393 Q. So we'll take this 10 to the left side. So 10 is equal to 0.939 Q. Now we'll divide this 10 by 0.939 to get the value of Q. So Q is equal to 10.649 Newton. So by following these steps, we can find the value of Q. Then we'll find the summation of vertical components. That is summation of Fy. We'll follow the same charts. So summation of Fy is equal to first this is the inclined force so it has a vertical component so it is equal to 40 sin 60 first quadrant y is positive the next one is 50 newton pointed upward direction so again it is a positive force 50 newton 30 newton is a horizontal force so its vertical component should be equal to zero so we will not consider it the next force is p 
it is a vertical force no need of resolution pointed in the downward direction so its value is minus p the next force is q angle with horizontal is known so its vertical component is equal to q sin 20 now it is located in the fourth quadrant so y is minus so we'll write y is equal to minus here as per the logic we know that summation of fy is equal to zero so for this case we'll put the zero on the left hand side so equation becomes 40 sin 60 plus 50 minus p minus put the value of q which are already calculated in the previous step so 10.649 into sin 20. now we'll take this p to the left hand side so p is equal to the value of 40 sin 60 is 34.641 plus 50 minus the value of this calculation is 3.642 now add and subtract the values to get the value of p so p is equal to 80.999 newton so it is almost equal to 81 newton so by following step 1 step 2 step 3 we can calculate the value of unknown forces if the resultant is equal to 0 always remember when resultant is equal to 0 its summation of fx should be equal to 0 and summation of fy is equal to 0 i hope you understood how to find the resultant and of unknown forces if you like this video you can share this video and subscribe to our channel thank you thank you very much